Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about two weeks ago, I let you know that the AI mode, which Google has now introduced into search, Google said would not be replacing the default search. There was a little bit of confusion around that. I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more information. Now, although Google has said that AR mode will not be replacing the default search, it does seem, though, that they are starting to push a lot more features regarding AR mode into their different products and services. And just to let you know, in regards to AR mode, that Google has now announced that Search Live has officially launched in English in the United States where previously that was a Google Labs experiment, so no Labs opt-in required. So it's rolling out by default in that region. So if Google says that when you go live now with search, you can have an interactive voice conversation in AR mode and share your phone's camera feed, which according to Google means search can see what your camera sees, which I think to some people may be or not be a good thing respond to your questions in real time and connect you with helpful web links to dive even deeper according to Google. Now Google says that to get started you would just open the Google app on Android and iOS and tap the new live icon under the search bar. And you can start asking your questions out loud and enable video input to share visual context from your camera feed. And this is just a screenshot provided by Neowin. Google also says that if you're already pointing your camera with Google Lens, you would simply select the new live option at the bottom of the screen. So that would be at the bottom of the Google Lens screen. Camera sharing will be enabled by default so you can have an instant back and forth conversation about whatever you see in front of you. Now, Google has given a couple of examples, but I'm going to use the troubleshooting help example, which, if you are using this type of thing, could be a move in the right direction. So Google says that if you are having trouble setting up a home theater, as an example, or any other electronics, you can get help each step of the way with live in search. So what you would do is you would point your camera and ask which cable goes where, and Google says you don't need to manually type in the make and model of your TV or the electronic or look up different kinds of cables. Instead, search will understand all the visual context and give you the information you're looking for with the option to ask follow-ups and check out relevant sites on the web, which I think if this is something you do use, would be a move in the right direction. So... Search Live is now available in the US, no opt-in required, no word yet if it's going to start rolling out to other markets, but a lot of these new features Google does start testing in the United States first and then eventually over the coming months they start pushing them out more to the general public and if I get knowledge of that, obviously I'll post and keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.